Hey y'all, what's that girl Shay? It's raining out here. I wasn't prepared, honey. I got on sandals. But I just wanted to encourage you real quick about um, just the healing journey. Um, and just letting you know that you will get through this. Whatever you're going through, whether it be a separation, a divorce, um, a breakup, um, no self-esteem, um, unworthiness, not being good enough, whatever it is that you're going through. When I first started the healing journey, and way before the healing journey, being happy, being happy was like a dream. Like, it was like, somewhere over the rainbow, I'll be happy again. And uh, up, I might need to do something with it. But um, it was like a dream. Like I never knew when I would smile again. I never knew when I would smile again. Um, and when I would just actually love myself. But now, y you know, after doing the work faithfully, uh, mm -hmm. this is the third year. Um, I know that I'm healing, and I know that God is healing me now, and that. Uh, this is a journey and this is a process because the the, the sleepless nights are gone. Um, the obsession is gone. Um, my focus is on me and my life and my journey. You know, if you've been following me, you know that I talk about me being codependent. Which is an unhealthy attachment to a person or a, a substance. And when you're codependent, you're, you're focused on pleasing who you're with and trying to please and be perfect for everybody and you just miss what you really want to do to try to please everybody else for fear of losing them for fear of not being wanted fear of not being loved for who you are so you uh, do a lot of people pleasing so now the focus is on me it's not on who I was with, what they doing, who they with, are they happy now, do they still think about me, do they still, you know, when you first break up or get ghosted or whatever, whatever your situation is, you can sometimes wonder about them and, you know, what, what's, what's going on with them. I'm not worried, on, worried about what's going on with, with nobody but me and what God want to do in me and through me, but that was a time, baby, I was just... <laughs> I was, I was having withdrawals from their love, withdrawals from their attention, withdrawals from, because I didn't know how to give it to myself. I didn't know how to love me. And one of the biggest keys on this healing journey is learning how to give yourself what you feel like you can't get unless you get it from somebody else. You got to learn how to fill your own cup. And baby, when you learn how to fill your own cup, you'll never have to worry about getting crumb, bread crumb. You'll never have to worry about gaslighting and getting ghosted and getting rejected and abandoned because it's like, if they not adding to your happiness, then you got to go anyway. Like, that's the mentality of a person that's healed and whole. But when you're not whole and you're codependent, you attract people that, uh, and what I mean by attract is you end up with people, you settle for people, you accept people that are codependent upon your insecurities. So it's two, two codependent people together. They're codependent upon your need for them and you're codependent upon their attention. And so when they take that attention from you because they not healed and they not whole, then you're no longer going crazy. You're like, thank you, Lord, for removing what was not for me. You know, you're able to handle people walking away because you trust God and you trust God's plan and will for your life. So that's how I know I was healing. So I just want to encourage you to keep on on the journey. And no matter who has walked away from you, you know, God is looking at you crying yourself to sleep saying if she only knew. If he only knew what I was protecting him from. Yeah, it hurts now. But God will let you stay in it long enough to get the lesson. Once you put your hand on that fire, you not finna, I mean, on that on that stove, that hot stove, you're not finna touch it again unless you just real stubborn and God just really got to break you. But you ain't trying to go through 
painful lessons after painful lessons. God is like, he'll let you stand there long enough to get the lesson. And take that lesson going forward. You know, you don't have to worry about that no more. So if you only knew, God is like, if you only knew, I'm protecting you from the disease. I'm protecting you from even more abuse. I'm protecting you from abuse that you don't know. I'm protecting you from uh, being cheated on over. I'm, I'm protecting you from mistreatment. You know, enough is enough. Get the lesson and put the focus on you. Take the focus off of them and, 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 and looking at yourself wondering what's wrong with you. Ain't nothing wrong with you. The only thing that's wrong is that how you see yourself. That's what's wrong. What's wrong is that you're accepting, you're, you're depending on them to fill your voids and fill your cups and they can't do it because they're not right. They're not right for you. And you got to understand that. They're not right for you. So, how you see yourself, change it. And how I healed was, and I'm still doing, I still do it every day. I pray every day. I worship every day. I spend time with God because that's my source. That's my source of joy. That's my source of happiness. That's my source of peace. That is my strength. I can't live without his peace and his strength. It's not me. You know, I need God. I can't do this by myself. And so I spend time with him. And now it's all about what do you want to do through me, in me, for me, with me? What do you want, Lord? Because you made me. You purposefully crafted me. You purposely and intentionally made me with the purpose. So what is that purpose, Lord? Show me. Lead me. Guide me. And when you say yes to God, everything in your life will align. His will. I understand when they say his will is the safest place. Your will is what's best for me. Your will is the, is the truth. His will is what's best, baby. And things happen when we, we try to get things that's not for us and outside of what he wants for us. And it hurts sometimes, but it's what's best. So I'm encouraging you on the journey that you're looking at a person that never knew when they would smile again. But I'm here to tell you that God will do it when you do the work. When you put in that work every day, you'll be looking back saying, I ain't crying no more. I don't need that. I don't need. I, I can smoke two less cigarettes now. I can. I can. I can take five less pills now. I can take one less beer now. I can. I can take, you know, less. I don't need it no more because I'm here. My my, my soul is at peace. Keep on pushing and don't give up. You will get through it. And the work never stops because it's always something. We are We're not perfect, so it'll always be something. But you'll be at peace. Not perfect, but at peace. So be encouraged. I love y'all. And y'all get my new single on May 31st. God is working miracles right now. All things are possible to those who believe. It's impossible with man. But with God, all things are possible. Love y'all. And be encouraged on this journey.